Well, I think I finally solved the problem. My name is Michelle Russell Ward. This is Russell Ward Studio. And all of the attempts at delivering have all failed because this entire street is complicit in the crime of concealing me. Okay, here's 9901. So if you're looking for an address that is very easily concealed, this is the first place to start. Now, why is it that none of my mail actually got here? It's a very good question. Well, we can start with the fact I believe America's Guardian is a drug addict living in this house along with a former co-worker and some ex-CIA. This one I think is also ex-CIA. I think this is a nanny, housekeeper, or gardener. I think this is where the gold is actually being delivered. Nasa Alcina, that's who I think this is. Now if you'll notice, there's a Y here. So if you're looking from the point of view of a satellite, you would walk this way, down this street, to this post office box. All right, here's the post office box. So, postman comes this way, changes everything in the box, and if you have your own house, if you have your own post office key, then of course it's not going to be a problem. It will, however, be a problem if you don't have a key to this mailbox, and if people are screwing up all of the addresses on this street. There are approximately five or six houses in this row. And let's see. I believe that if you have an Oculus, from this perspective, one of these houses, because I remember this from 41 Eastern Parkway, if you're looking from the top down, all of the people who are stacked one on top of the other on top of the other in an apartment complex that's stacked, the ones on the top cannot necessarily be distinguished from the ones in the apartments below it in the same line. So, let's just say you are looking from the perspective of here, right? Let's just say you're in one of these houses, and you have an oculus, and you're looking this way. That means whatever houses are from here, they become like an apartment complex, stacked one, two, three, four, five, six. And all of the individuals that you see, their personality characteristics, their behaviors, their physical appearance, they all start to become the same. You have to be a New York City resident to know this, and because I'm a native New Yorker, it takes a minute to think about it. But yeah, this is basically an apartment complex stacked on its side where people are intentionally confusing my identity. So, U.S. Postal Service would deliver to that box, right? What happens if you take a lift? If you take a lift, you would be usually picking up or dropping off your passenger here at this location. This is the lift stop. No parking anytime, obviously. This is Bonhaven Lane and Runnymede. Can you see? Yes, from the yield sign. Matter of fact, I'm going to go right over here. Make it really, really clear. See. Bonhaven Lane and Runnymede. So if you're coming by a lift, you take the Shinkansen, you arrive in Baltimore, and you stop here. You certainly wouldn't go down there because that's where all of the garages are located. Why is it that people have been coming to every house here except to the right house? I think because everybody on this whole street is lying about who they are, where they are from, 
what they do, and Wi-Fi ranges. I remember this also from 41 Eastern Parkway. Assuming you have a Wi-Fi range extender on the router, if you're from this house, then the radius runs to somewhere around maybe here without a range extender and maybe around here if you do have a range extender. Which means this house, if, it's, if other people have access to the Wi-Fi, this house can reach it. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe Max Holland knows this address. You would know better than I. But I'm going to put this onto YouTube just so that people understand. The Wi-Fi range runs approximately one house width and a half in a circle that, ex that includes about here. Okay. So what do you do if you actually wish to get to the right house? Well, you would not stop at the break in the sidewalk. And I find it interesting that as I'm explaining the mailbox, there are a couple of people who look absolutely nothing like me saying, we cannot treat you shitty any longer. I think you've done a little more than just treat me shitty. You've lied about who I am, what I look like, what I do, and why I'm even here. You've stolen a couple million dollars of gold, and you laughed your ass all the way to the bank. That's a little more than just, I'm treating you shitty. That's human trafficking, racketeering, identity fraud, identity theft, and a good way to die, when you also factor in details like money laundering and drug trade. Just saying. Because believe it or not, I actually am an attorney. So, now, where is the Russell Ward studio? Oh, it's that house all the way at the end that you don't want to go to. The one with the dead shrubs and the screwed up, what, what is that exactly that caused Ruth, Ruth, you know, Rose, what, what exactly is that that's made her so testy? Well, I don't really know. I know that if I actually got paid my gold bullion, it would have been fixed. But I'm not supposed to get paid. I'm supposed to provide money to Rose or Alcino or whomever. Now then. Tell him again home again, so to speak. Let's see if we can't get this corrected.